I want to thank one of our people, Christos, who asked me to speak about this topic today. That's the question, uh, which is, if a police officer asks you for your name or your identification, do you have to provide that information? And if so, under what circumstances? My name is Matthew Maddox. I'm with the Maddox Law Firm here in New Canaan, Connecticut. If a police officer asks you for your name or identification and there's nothing further happening, he doesn't say anything further to you, doesn't ask you for your name and identification, and there's no investigation that's ongoing, you're within your right to say no to that question. However, if there is a, an investigation, if that officer believes that a crime has been, been committed or is about to be committed or is in the course of being committed and you're asked your name and identification, you have to provide that information in Connecticut. And furthermore, a separate situation is where police believe that their safety is at risk. In that situation also, Connecticut is going to require you to provide, provide your name and or your identification. There is a built-in friction that we have, to be under, we have to be able to understand between our rights to privacy, our rights to be secure in our persons, and police officers' rights and law enforcement's rights and our need for law enforcement to conduct their work and investigations. It's a friction that's built in. We have to be sensitive to, and we have to be sensitive to the watchwords here. What are those watchwords? They are patience, respect, and restraint. These are ideas and words that people on both sides of these interactions, law enforcement and citizens, have to be aware of and practice very, very carefully in those interactions. If you are the subject of an investigation, if you are, have a question about your rights or if you've been arrested, please call us at the Maddox Law Firm.